Hi there, in this video we're looking at the Harami and the Harami cross patterns as available from our candlestick pattern indicator for NinTrader 8. You'll find that uh, in our premium section over at lizardindicators.com. Harami is the Japanese word for pregnant and uh, the pattern has this name because it uh, resembles or look a little bit like a pregnant uh, woman. So I think uh, we need a little bit of uh, imagination to see that here. But uh, for the bullish Harami, uh, you're looking for a reversal at the end of a downtrend. So uh, the two prior bars are down closes. And the prior bar here uh, is a large body bar. The current is a small body bar. The small is contained within the large range here and um, the open of this bar is uh, at or below the close of the large body bar subject to a one tick modification more information uh, in the video notes below here a bearish rami is uh, then a reversal at the end of a uptrend with the following conditions. So the two prior bars are up closes. The prior bar is a large body bar. This one here is a small body bar. And uh, again, the body of the small one here is contained within the large body bar. And again, the open here is at the close or above. Uh, but there is this again, one tick rule. You can also have a one tick open just below the close here. Then for the Harami cross, it's a more restrictive version of the bullish Harami. The two prior bars again are down closes. Again, we have a large body bar here as the prior. And this one here is now a doji, just as a, a cross or extremely small body as we see here. Again, contained within this large body and vice versa for the bearish Harami cross. Two prior bars are up closes. This is a large body. This is a doji and the body is contained within the large range. And again, the open is at or above. Again, subject to the one tick rule, which allows it to also open one tick below the close. So let's uh, look at this uh, in uh, the chart. Bullish Harami cross and the bearish Harami cross. Again, reversal patterns. So you see the bullish pattern plotting during a downtrend. The bearish Harami cross plotting towards the end of an uptrend. And as for the indicator settings, uh, we're mainly looking at the large body candle and for the cross the doji. So if we change the definition of the doji to 0 0.25 and apply, we see more occurrences of the pattern here, 51 occurrences. Doesn't change these patterns specifically. Here we see it. We've allowed have a small body rather than a 0 0.05 doji and so by setting it to default you will no longer see this as a bearish harami cross then we can look at the bullish and the bearish harami and the large body definition is based on the reference period and so if we set it to 1.6 then we lose this pattern down here this is no longer defined as a large body according to what we had in the look back period. And so by setting it back to 1.2, see the pattern appear here. Finally, uh, you can uh, choose to display these in uptrends and downtrends. As I mentioned, I've defined them as reversal patterns. So the bearish Arami will be located in uptrends bearish Rami cross also in uptrends and vice versa for the bullish Rami in downtrends. So that's pretty much it for the 
Harami and the Harami cross patterns. If you have any questions for me, feel free to reach out in the contact form over at Listed Indicators. You can also send me an email at info at listedindicators.com. In the meantime, take care and bye-bye.